Hello everybody, my name is Sophie and welcome back to Bookmas! We have gathered here today for a special Bookmas episode. We have a big task ahead of us and I'm gonna give you a little bit of an intro before we get started. I have a messy room. Mm. I will show you. And I'm very embarrassed. Just know that when you're just gonna see it, okay? Stuff just piles up and I don't know where to put it. And I really wanted to do an episode for Bookmas where I show you guys the books that I currently have in my bookshelf. And also, I mean, you always see the ones that are behind me in my videos, but you don't really see the ones in the bookshelf, right? And then I was like, it's kind of sad that I never decorate for the holidays. I feel like decorating for... Christmas and for Easter and things like that. It's also common here in Germany, but not as heavily as it is in the US. <laughs> the content that I always get fed is American content. And people over there, and I mean this with peace of love, they decorate for everything. Every occasion, there is a decoration that rhymed. They have their little pumpkin blankets and then it hits on November 1st and they get out the fucking uh, candy cane blanket. You have a blanket for everything. So I think decorating for like seasons specifically, you also do that here, but not as much as you do in America. There's not as much like fall stuff. And another thing that I feel like is not as common here in Germany is that you don't really decorate your bedroom. <laughs> Decorations are more common in living areas, like the living room, period, where the family gathers and where people gather, but your own personal bedroom, I feel like that's not really, like maybe a little bit, but not as heavily as it is in America. That's the point I'm trying to make. But I want that. I feel like if I had that, my life would be better. I feel like I would feel better about myself. So I thought, why not make that today's objective? Tonight, it's, it's late. I'm not gonna tell you how late, it's late. The to-do list is clean room, clean out bookshelf, and then decorate everything, the whole room, but especially the bookshelf. I just feel like if I have cute decorations in my room and also when my room is clean, I'm just gonna feel much better mentally and much more prepared for bookmas and life. <laughs> you know, if I have a little Christmas tree, a little elf in the back, <laughs> I'm just gonna feel better. <laughs> so now you're curious after I said all that, right? How my room looks, I'll show you. First of all, we have the desk. Everything is gathered here. And then we continue to the floor where just everything is. I just throw everything on the floor and on my bed. And then the main objective is the bookshelf. And as you can see, that's a mess. I just kind of want to switch out this too. Like the books that are underneath my sign. I feel like it would be much more fun if there was something different here for the season. That being said, let's get this tripod up. <laughs> what should we start with? I feel like the first thing I should do is the clothes, the closet, because that takes up most space. And then I have a bunch of bags on the floor that have things in them that I just need to put away. But I don't have any space for them. Hmm. All right, guys, let's get started. Is that better? You guys know I'm not used to this. This is very much improvising. I'm trying to be a little bit more creative for this. Cheers. Also hate the overhead light. I feel like I should put enough fairy lights in here that I could just get rid of the overhead light and never turn it on again. Honestly, this is taking me like five years, but I have these two big bags of things. I don't even know if you can see them, probably not. I have to go through them. I have to go through them and sort them. Make little piles like I just did, and then I'm pretty much done. Okay, everybody, it might be or might not be a few days later. <laughs> I'm actually gonna get a stool so I can talk to you guys eye to eye, face to face. Should I start filming my reviews like this? No, no, I shouldn't. Behind me is my bookshelf. 
I took out pretty much all of the decoration that was on it and it's just the books now and then of course we also have the video background right here this is what you guys always see in the background now you can see that it doesn't reach to the top it's kind of embarrassing we're wearing a chill outfit we're wearing beige on beige because it's comfortable <laughs> Get comfy guys. My bed is over here as you can see with my nightstand and I put all of the accessories on there. That's why it looks messy, okay? I don't, we don't care. That being said, I think we should get started. I'll show you what's in my bookshelf and we'll decorate it and reorganize it and unhaul it. I'm actually doing another book miss video with a book haul and book shopping and what that's like in Germany uh, since I'm German. In case you guys didn't know. Also very uncomfortable for me to be filming full body. So please bear with me <laughs> while I wear this huge jacket. That being said, there's going to be a few new additions to this bookshelf. Because I ordered some books and I'm going to go book shopping in another bookmas vlog. And it's going to be like a book haul, book shopping, two in one video. So we need to keep that in the back of our heads when we're looking at this shelf. So let's see. Let's start from the top. I'm thinking maybe I should just take all of them out and put them on here. And then put them in? What do you guys think? So I don't know how well you can see everything from where you're standing but this is like the best I can do so you can see everything. This shelf is the one that's not gonna change because this one has the entire Harry Potter series in German. All of the Hunger Games books in German and also all of the Lord of the Rings books in German. I had these for years. The Hunger Games ones were mine. These are not in the correct order though. Back from when I was 12 and reading the books and then like pre-movie release and then harry potter they uh, go back to like my mom getting them on release day so um i'm there staying even though i have never read them just because i would get in a fight with my mom if i got rid of them maybe i'm thinking we could potentially like put at least the harry potter ones under my bed and keep them still because i actually have a big scary bag do you guys want to see it this one is just under my desk all the time you know what's in here the entire twilight series in german you can get these for really cheap now people are trying to sell them but i'm going to do a twilight reading vlog and reading all of the books and doing like a huge video on it that's what i'm planning and so i want to read them in english and my mom got them for me in german from the thrift store and she was like don't you like reading? And I said, yeah, just not in German. So we could do the same with the Harry Potter books because I don't know what to do with these. I don't know if anyone will buy these. And I feel kind of bad because my mom got them for me. I think I'm just going to take them out and put them here, guys. We're going to put the bust away for a second and then just kind of stack them over here so I can visualize what we have. I'm seriously considering the Harry Potter putting them away option, actually, because I don't really need those in my shelf and I don't really want them in my shelf either. What now? This is the manga shelf. This has all of my mangas, which are not that many, but you know. The only one that I'm reading actively is Jujutsu Kaisen, and so the latest German release is always on my nightstand. When I had a fever dream, I wanted to start collecting the One Piece manga, and I only have 90. I do think I'm going to keep this one, but just so we can start the unhauling already, I have solo leveling in here. I don't know if you guys know this one. I actually never read it and my boyfriend kind of forced me to get this. He was like, because one of his friends was like, this is super good. And they were also making an anime out of this, which I'm not sure if that's released. I'm, I think it might be, I just didn't watch it. And then he said, you should get this. Um, and I never read it and I think my boyfriend read it once, but he didn't really fuck with it. And so I don't really care for it either. Wow, we're really making progress. Wow. And then in the shelf up here, that's also a question whether I can rearrange this or not. Probably not. This is the Sarah J Maas shelf, guys. This is exclusively Sarah J Maas books. And they don't even really fit in here anymore. And you have to imagine Crescent City. I mean, I can just stack these actually. Crescent City is not that big of a deal. I have Crescent City 1 in paper bag. And then this one I got in a hardcover. And I made reviews about both of these. This one is the reason I started my channel. And I talked about the fact that I had to get the hardcover because I wanted to get the same day delivery. And then behind that is the hidden... I don't know, the hidden books. I have Throne of Glass in this edition. I got this for my big uh, Throne of Glass video that I made. And there's a second part coming, guys. Okay, not this year, but in the beginning of next year. And then Queen of Shadows and... Empire of Storms, I also both have in the original paper bag. And you can see Queen of Shadows is my favorite Sergio Mas book and it's completely like wearing off. <laughs> and then you're saying, okay, what the fuck is this? This is the German paper bag for Air of Fire and Crown of Midnight. I only have the first one in English. Kingdom of Ash is displayed because I didn't really figure out a different way to um, arrange them in the shelf. So that's why. Not because I particularly like it or anything. Of course, Assassin's Blade. 
Tower of Dawn. Tower of Dawn is also really fucked and I only read that once so I don't know why. Maybe I took it on vacation with me and had like wet hands from the pool and then the coloring wore off. I'm not sure. Also on the German ones the lettering is not the same as on the English ones. You can see there it's like 3D in gold and this one is also a little bit 3D but it's just more shiny. They're really saving money. And the reason I have those in German guys is because I am German and I was reading in German when I started reading Throne of Glass and then Queen of Shadows released and it wasn't going to be translated into German for a while because I read it as it released and so I just bought that in English and that was the reason I started reading in English. Shout out Sarah. We have the original Equitar books tapped for the reviews I made for my Nessa video and everything. Are these worth any money now? Then I should take good care of them. This one as a hardcover and I don't know why I have it as a hardcover. So I think I'm just gonna put them back in that shelf I just wanted to show you. <laughs> I was thinking if I should do like a crazy arrangement like, oh my god, Echo War, it's falling. Like in the sense of I'm gonna do a rainbow, but I don't think I have enough spine, like enough colorful spines. If I'm looking at this, they're mostly black. So that would be a really boring rainbow. So I think I'm just gonna put it with the series, maybe. Or however they fit, actually, whatever. Maybe we're just gonna switch sides. To switch it up a little bit, I'm gonna put Echo Tar on this side and then Throne of Glass on the other. Oh fuck, I forgot this. Wow, Sophie. You're so creative. Wow. Okay, so that is what is in the shelf right now. I think maybe, or maybe I'll just take all of them out because I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Please still watch the haul. I did order the Hunger Games in English so I can do a video on them. Because I want to reread them. I want to reread them in English and not in German. But these are my babies. Look at the original cover. Do you guys have this? I bet you don't. I, this is the only book I have with sprayed edges. This is my dad's uh, book. It's Lord of the Rings, all of three of them. I don't know if the German Harry Potter covers are the same as the English ones, but this is the first one in case you're curious. So Harry is over here now. And then we have a whole new book shelf that's free. Wow. Um, what to do now? I think the only shelf big enough to fit uh, hardcover standing up is this one. As a little example, you can see no problem in here. This one is too short. This one too. This one is also... Oh, no, this one would fit. Okay, that's good to know. And this one? This one also fits. See? I didn't know. I didn't know. But honestly, Furryborn, I did a review on it. It's hardcover, but I don't really need this. If I'm being honest, did I read this? Did I read this this year? What was this about? No, I don't remember this. Let's get rid of it, right? Like it looks pretty because it's also hardcover, and I got it secondhand, so I don't feel that bad if I sell it for five euros. But I think I spent five euros on it, you know. I don't remember this. I'm gonna get rid of it. Why do I put the books that I get rid of? I don't have any space. I'll just put them on the bed. Atlas six. We're keeping this one because it's the original cover, and this is worth some money. Is there another Olivier? How is? Olivier Blake book that you guys want me to read because I'm thinking about giving authors a second chance uh, in December So if there's one that she wrote where you're like that was better than the Atlas 6 I can read it and if you want me to read the Atlas 6 sequel I could also do that if you're saying that's better. I could do that, you know That's just how I am. I think random paperbacks are gonna go into the top That's what I always do and maybe like the I have so much space now I don't even know what to do. We could also think about the fact that I can put different books behind me for the videos maybe? I may or may not also have ordered the entire Twilight series. This one I thrifted. Breaking Dawn I also thrifted, but I was not lucky with Twilight and Eclipse. I couldn't find them so I had to order them. Maybe we put the series in here. Let me think. Because I also have these bitches that I'm going to do a video on. Also ordered all of these secondhand of course. You know me. I don't spend money. I have to look up on the spines which books they are because I don't know. Crave? Should I sell this? I don't know if I should get rid of Crave. I'll think about it. These are all different heights. <laughs> oh man. That's why I was laying them down. I remember now. Because they are not the same height. Look at this. Can you see this? This Velvet Kingdom, I tried selling. No one wanted it. I'm gonna try again. Book Lovers is on the TBR. We gotta keep that. Spanish Love Deception, we can sell that. Once Upon a Broken Heart, I'm gonna keep a little longer because maybe I'm gonna continue that series if you guys ask nicely. Serpent and Dove can go. And so can Guild. Who the fuck cares about that book? All of these videos, I have reviews on my channel, by the way. <laughs> In case you're curious about my thoughts. On the TBR. This, I have the entire series, so I feel like I should keep them just a little bit longer. They also just look nice. I can appreciate that. Mm, so, these are both on my TBR. And so is this. No! 
Let's touch the camera. I'll be back. We're continuing. So what did I do? I just added red rising into the shelf because I'm keeping that. And what else did I do? I added cruel prints and that's it. Let me know if you want me to reread red rising because I don't really remember it that well at all, actually. TBR, TBR, TBR. Honestly, I don't think I'll ever read this one. I'll just get rid of it. Like I'm not interested at all. TBR, do I have to say it? You want me to read the puppy war? House moving castle. I love house moving castle so much. TBR and then ninth house I posted a review and hellbent nobody talked about this but I do have it and it's tall but that won't fit in here but maybe in here we can put like series in here TBR this I got to reread I used to be the biggest red queen stan ever should I do a video on the Grisha trilogy because I only ever read the first book and I don't remember it I think it would be fun if I made like videos on entire series like the model instruments Twilight and then also like the Grisha, like the original fantasy dystopian young adult books. TBR. So are these two. These are really small by the way compared to a normal paperback. I of course have videos on all of these books. Actually I don't know if I did one on the second. Which one is the second? Clockwork Prince. I don't think I reviewed that one but the first one and the last one I did a review on. Let's put them together with their siblings. <laughs> also on the TBR and then my babies anyone want to get me the special edition I still don't have it I really want it maybe I should put these in the back of my videos how would we like that and then the only ones I have left is the entire um what is it called Ember in the Ashes series of course first one German hardback second one old cover UK hardcover with the pretty spine then they changed the covers and this is the paperback and this is the hardcover so none of these match not really happy about my arrangement maybe i should put these in the back too because they look pretty or no hard covers because i'm scared that the that they get damaged and i have the entire red queen series for a reread and again none of these match first one paperback second one hardcover really pretty one of my favorite covers and books like from the optics, not from the inside. King's Cage, paperback, and then this one also paperback. It's the American one from Harper Teen, and this one is from... I don't know what the publisher is called, but this one is from the UK. And they're also not the same height. Let's put some of these classics in the back, I feel like. Just switching it up. Okay, so... These can go in the shelf for now? In the paperback shelf, at least. Book Lovers in the back. Shadow and Bone is too tall, so I'll also put that behind me. Does it look better when they're like pulled to the front like they are right now? I don't really know how well you can see. But I have to put decorations, so I'm not sure. Okay, we have some space. Oh no, never mind. I forgot about all of these. Okay, look at all of these. Look at all of these. So I have a little bit of air right here for the two other Twilight books. And then down here for all of the other books I'll be getting. And of course, also oh never mind, I'm still missing this one. So now I'm thinking actually, the books that I got rid of, I can just put them behind me because I need something to prop my book hater sign on. Then I'll still make use of them. Okay, this is ugly as fuck. This one I'll still be getting rid of. I don't want this in my bag. I genuinely have beef with this book, honestly. And this one too. I'm also just getting rid of this. Okay. I hate it. I hate the way this looks. Maybe I'll just leave it like this for now because I'll be getting some other books and I don't think that this area i mean this is where i film my videos but during bookmas i won't be doing that much sitting down videos right here even though i always sit here in my chair this is usually where my chair is i could also stack some here but for now we'll do the bus obligatory boobies and now of course to make it bookmas related guys let's get the christmas decoration i'll show you what we have first i went to my mom and i said hey do you have any spare christmas decoration that i can use and she said I sure do. So this is German mom Christmas decoration haul. A Christmas tree. I actually think this is kind of cute. No, it reminds me of uh, Tsukabata. Another Christmas tree out of wood. They don't have to go on a bookshelf, all of them. I can just put some things around my room. But I won't show you that because since cleaning it, it got messy again and I'm embarrassed. I don't know what this is. A reindeer? But I thought it would be cute because it's small if it's on a shelf. Every German household has one of these in any shape, way or form. Like 30 different forms. If you are living at home with your mom or whoever, let me know if you have this. A little Christmas tree, just a little basic. I mainly took things that I could put on the bookshelf, you know? <laughs> because otherwise, like, shit doesn't fit on there. Another reindeer. And that's it. <laughs> So this is going to be very Christmassy, but I did get a fairy light that I want to put around it. 
And I also got this one, which I don't know if we're gonna use. And this is just little Santa hats with a fairy light. And then I also actually have stars for my window. I forgot, wait. They're like 3D hanging stars. And I'm not sure if I should put them right here. Where are they gonna go? Where are they gonna go? I'm gonna put the gray one here because it matches with a uh, hellbend. You can't even see. Whatever. <laughs> Trust me. A little Christmas tree. That's really nice. Wow. Ooh, I'm gonna fall. Christmas tree. I think I like this one better. I can just put it in the back. It also has a star on top, of course. And it matches the stars in my background. Period. I don't think I'm gonna use this one. Or could I put it anywhere else? I don't have any space in my room, guys. I don't know where to put it. Bookaholic. That's so me. I'm gonna put these back. These are some little magnets that I got from vacations with my boyfriend. They have nothing to do with Christmas, but I don't have anywhere else. And of course, my little oil cover also gets to go back into the shelf. Or he doesn't want to, maybe. Gojo also has to make a return. Obligatory. And my silly little Yu-Gi-Oh card. How cute is this one? Okay. The rest I can put other places. Let's put the fairy lights around it. The most exciting part. them together like this. It's gonna take a while. I actually don't have the patience for this, but I'm really trying. I did it. Just kidding. It's still piled on the floor, but I lost patience. I put the little Santa hats on the bust. And I also put up the stars. Let me turn off the, the big light. You know, I hate having it on anyway. Wow. Wow. How do you guys like it? Is it cute? You know, I tried my best. That's it for this bookmas video. We did some rearranging. I'm really happy with it. We're gonna do some more rearranging when I get the books that I ordered and when I go book shopping. But for now, I'm really happy with how it looked, how it turned out. It looks really cozy in my opinion. Let me know if you're decorating your bookshelf for Christmas or if you're not really into decorating, let me know how you like it. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I'll see you in my next bookmas video. And until then, Stay happy, stay healthy, peace and love, goodbye.